Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, took the silver Danios out of here two days ago. Put them down in here, swimming around. Not sure if they spawned, but um, we'll just wait a couple more days and if we start seeing anything, be good. But uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you a quick way to make Infosauria that will be ready 36 48 hours really great to feed the fry Thank you. Bye G'day guys, welcome back to the channel um, Two days later after I've uh, Taken the zebra danios out of the tank. I don't know if they've spawned or not But anyway today I'm gonna do a quick one just show you how I make my infosoria. I'm going to make two jars in case one fails. Probably shouldn't, but um, yeah, it's a little cold. It's winter here, so outside in the garage is 11 degrees Celsius. In the little greenhouse, it's 19, so it should be okay. All I've done, I've just taken two jars, old coffee jars. Aquarium water, you can use normal water and a little bit. To, I've got a pack of dry yeast, so it's just household yeast for cooking, whatever. Seven gram pack. I'm gonna just put it in my little glass here, just put that in and give it a stir up to survive to not survive, to dissolve. All right, <laughs> we just give this a quick stir, a couple of minutes, stir it up. The, water, the tank it's come out of is 25 degrees C, so that should be all right. I mean, warmers, but because I don't have a heater that will fit in the jar, I was going to do one heater and one not, but I don't have one that fits in. So I'm just going to stick it on top of these lights. So it gets a bit of warmth when the lights are on. So that should maintain a good enough temperature for it. Okay, so once we've, you know, takes a while. But this will just feed, be a food source for the infosoria, okay? Okay, I'll just let that sit for a bit. You can make infosoria, I've done it before with potatoes and broccoli and stuff, but it stinks and, and this is really quick within, you know, 48 hours, probably, you know, 30, 36 to 48 hours, I will have infosoria. So what I do, I'll go over this tank here. Just grab a, a sponge filter. Okay, and just like you clean in the sponge filter. Just like that. And there should be lots of infosoria and gunk and fish poo and everything, and then that will feed off the yeast, all right? Put this one back and I'll grab another one for the other one. Okay, got another one. it out in here. Okay. Bit of dark weed, but anyway. There you go. You can see all the gunk coming out.
Alright, handy towel. And all we do, give this one another quick stir. And then we just whack a bit in each one. So it clouds up, okay? I probably made too much yeast, but you know, seven gram packet. And there you go. Let's whack the lids back on. And there you go. Come back in a couple of days and hopefully we'll have Infusoria. I'm not sure if they spawn, but if if I do see really minute fry, then I will just stick these on the on the light there. It's main a bit well it's 19 in here and it usually stays around there, that will be good. But the the, the light will supply a little bit more heat to it. And um, we'll come back a day and a half, two days, and see how it's going. It's the quickest and easiest way. The yeast just supplies the food. The filter replies, supplies the culture. And there you go. And if it works, which it should, it's really good. Because if you've got a busy lifestyle or something, Infosori is great for small fry. Because you can just squirt a heap in the tank. It's not going to do much damage and it's going to continue to survive so that way you can just feed them once a day rather than you know three or four times a day with fry powder or whatever it's just the way i do it so hopefully it will work and um yeah after a week or 10 days or if there is babies i'm not sure where it's going to be but um then in another week, I'll, I'll start up the old uh, brine shrimp and uh, after 10 days of infusoria or something and get them on the brine shrimp. So thank you. Uh, yeah, give it a try guys. It's worked really quick, really easy, very simple. No smell like the vegetable one. Vegetable ones are good because you can use a bucket and maintain it for a longer period of time, but you know, if you've got two jars, this should be right. Alright, thank you. Bye.